Hey, it's Matt. Good to be back with you. Uh, I'm in my new kind of permanent RV location in my nice storage shed. And as you can see, I'm getting some of my stuff. You know, I got some of my outdoor stuff hanging all around. You know, there, there's my belt rig and my backpacks down there and all that kind of stuff. So really settling in pretty nicely and able to do some videos. But when I'm not doing videos, I'm usually watching other people's YouTube videos and I try to watch my subscribers videos if they have videos but I came across a couple of videos that I want to talk about one's got almost 600,000 views in a month one's got like 2.9 million views in two years and these videos talk about a fire trick that no one knows uh, okay so I watched both of them and I can't believe they have that amount of videos because it's none of it's a trick. You know, it's if you're in a real survival situation, the last thing you need to do is depend on a trick to make a fire. Don't depend on a trick. What you need is you need to develop your own reliable fire kits. They don't have to be big and elaborate fire kits. You're gonna see in just a couple of minutes, you're gonna see one of my main fire kits. That's the one I always carry on me. And I'm gonna show you another one that I, that I carry on me if I'm carrying a backpack. But you need to develop your own main fire kit with two or three or more different sources of ignition on it. That's gonna take care of you, whether it's wet or whether it's dry or whatever the, the case may be, but you need to practice with those fire kits and you need to be able to make a fire when it's wet or when it's dry or when it's damp, whatever. Friction fires, bow drills, I don't care, bow and arrows, catapults, you need to be able to make a fire with whatever you can make a fire with because I don't care if it's soaking wet outside, it's been raining for a month. There's still gonna be somewhere where there's some dry tinder somewhere in some tree. You just have to learn to find it. So the point of this is, don't rely on a fire trick to make a fire. Rely on practice and skill. Now, what are the two tricks that these guys are saying? One guy hacks off a piece of fat wood. Here, this piece of dowel rod. Let's say this is a piece of fat wood, okay? He hacks off a little piece of fat wood and he says, oh, all you gotta do, here's the trick. Instead of lighting the fat wood, turn it like this and it'll burn up and it'll make fire for longer. That's a trick. I've been doing that for 50 years. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a torch. That's the trick that no one knows. Uh, that's just, I, I, I wouldn't even go watch that video. Uh, and both of these guys may be mad as hell at me for uh, for doing this video, but I don't really care. Just turning a piece of fat wood like that and, and starting it on fire and letting it burn and putting the stuff around it, that's not a trick, all right? That's just something you should practice. The second guy, he's carrying a big lighter and he's got like a half a roll of Gorilla Tape wrapped around the lighter. And his trick is he lights a plastic guitar pick on fire and then he makes his fire. Well, if you have the cigarette lighter, if you got a Bic, why do you need to light a plastic guitar pick on fire? Just hold the Bic under your tinder bundle. The Bic will burn for as long as you hold the Bic lever down. Why do you need to light a plastic guitar pick? Don't take plastic guitar picks out in the woods to make your fire with. Don't do that. Take, learn how to find fatwood and go get your own fat wood, learn how to work a ferro rod, take a magnifying glass, take waterproof matches, take those little cotton makeup pads, take cotton balls, take dryer lint, take anything else that you can spark with a ferro rod or a lighter or anything else. Don't rely on taking a, a guitar pick out in the woods to make your fire. So now I'm gonna take you over to my, my new little improvised workbench and I'm gonna show you a couple of my main fire kits. And uh, this video that you're gonna see in just a second is gonna be about one of my main fire kits, but I wanna show you the two main kits that I carry, one on my belt and one on my backpack. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. This thing comes with me on my little belt rig, and this is just one of those old little 1980s or so, early 90s cell phone holders, 
and it's got a it's got a belt loop in it and I just stick an Alice clip through the back of it and I clip it on my hiking belt and this has got my Altoids 10 fire kit okay there, there's you're gonna see exactly what's in here but that that just fits right in that little cell phone pouch pouch velcros on and I it's never come loose at all so this is my main fire kit another fire kit that I use is I just picked up this little waterproof box and you can clip it on whatever you want to clip it on you know it's a little waterproof box it's full of dryer lint under here it's got cotton balls in it it's got a big lighter band-aids a multi-tool pocket knife cotton swabs waterproof matches uh and i think it's got a ferro rod somewhere in there but if you can't make a fire out of this <laughs> they're, they're just going to find your dead body you know when the search party comes out so get yourself uh, a couple of fire kits. I, I made up a couple of my own fire kits. Let's go check out what's inside of my Altoid fire kit. Okay, welcome back. Now we're going to take a look at my little Altoids 10 fire kit that I carry with me in the little cell phone case on my basic level one hiking belt. Okay, so uh, this one's, you know, this one's been used a little bit because I, I've cooked up some char cloth in it and I just secure it with a piece of black electrical tape. I don't have any inner tube to make a ranger band or anything like that, but here it goes. And it fits perfectly in the little cell phone case. And this is just the standard out size Altoids tin. So I'm gonna cut this electrical tape and we're gonna take a look at this. Let's see if we can't not cut ourselves. Okay, here we go. Now. Okay, you can also use the tape as a little bit of a fire starter. Okay, so here we go. We open up our Altoids tin, and you're gonna see right away, I carry just a piece of folded up paper towel in here, just, just in case you know you need a little bit of dry, dry fire starting material, or you know you can use that for a number of things. So there's a little piece of folded up paper towel that I have in there. Now, I carry a bunch of little pieces of fat wood, lighter wood with me, a lot of them, as many as will fit in here, because that is one of the best things that you can have to start a fire. And this is going to be dry lighter wood. If you get out someplace where it's really wet, you know, now you have some dry lighter, lighter wood or fat wood, whatever you want to call it, but carry some perfectly dry lighter wood. Now, heart of the system, our good old Bic lighter. Great. We got a bunch of fires in this. So we got our Bic lighter. Now, I also carry a couple of these little pieces of, uh, that's char cloth. We'll get into that in a second. A couple little pieces of these fire, fire burning things that are, you know, impregnated with some, some sap or resin you know, one of these things that'll burn, you know, this is just a, the good old fire extender. You know, you start it up and it'll, it'll burn for, for quite a while. Okay. And this is basically a piece of rolled up jute twine that'll do the same thing. You know, you can actually catch that with a spark if you need to, but there's your fire extender. All right. Now I also carry about... 10 or 15 matches, if I could get them out. Carry about 10 or 15 matches with the striker. So, because matches ain't very good if you can't strike them. So, I cut the striker off of one of the packets of matches and I carry the matches with the striker so I can always strike it. Now, I got a bunch of char cloth with me in the bottom of the kit bunch of char cloth and there you go here's our piece of tape there is my basic Altoids tin fire kit some people get more elaborate with these than this some people make it a little bit easier but I think I got everything uh, to help make a fire you know I got my lighter I got some paper towel we got some fire extending things 
I got some nice fat wood, which really helps. This is nice dry fat wood. I got some matches and I got a striker in case my lighter goes out. I got some char cloth that I can strike and make a fire with on my ferro rod. And I got a little piece of tape just in case I need to, uh, a little help with the fire. You know, tape burns really, really well. So there you go. There's my Altoids 10 fire kit. Let me know what you think. And until next time, this is Matt, the old Florida boy saying, I will see you on the trail.